Hey, what's up everyone? Dave here with another exciting tutorial. And today I want to talk about color ID in Blender. Okay, so first of all, what is color ID and why would we want to use it? Well, color ID is basically um, an assistant for programs like Substance Painter. And basically what I can do is I can say everything that's going to be Chrome, I want to kind of ID that with a certain color, let's say blue. Then everything that's going to be metal is going to be ID'd with a different color, uh, let's say green. And let's say everything that's going to be rubber is going to be ID'd with a third color, let's say pink. Now you might say, well, what the heck is going on here? Well, basically it doesn't really matter what color we choose. We're just thinking about it in terms of material and saying um, those materials are going to be assigned a certain color. And then when we had, uh, apply that material, it'll go, it'll know to go to all the blue objects. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. So you can see that I have um, a motorcycle here. I'm just gonna go into UV editing. And the way that I'm gonna do color ID is I'm gonna use a plugin called text tools. So I'm gonna go into edit preferences and you would just have to go online to find this add-on. And if you come in here, I'm just gonna type in text tools. It's a free add-on. So you can just kind of go to google.com, do a search for text tools for Blender, download it, and then put the zipped file right on your desktop and then go here to um, hit install to search for it. And then you should be able to activate it right here. You don't even have to unzip it, just leave it how it is. And now here it is. Now, okay, so we've got text tools installed, the plugin. Now, how do we use it? Well, in the UV editing tab, you can see this little arrow here. I can click on that and this pops out. And normally we would be like that, but you can see here's a new tab called text tools. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that out. And down here in text tools, I can see something called color ID. So if I open that up, I can switch the mode from materials to vertex color. Okay, so I'm gonna set it to vertex color. And over here, I'm just gonna make this a little bit more um, narrower. I'm gonna make sure that my mode is set to viewport shading. And if I come here, I wanna make sure that this is set to attribute, okay? Um, that way I'm not looking at the material, I'm looking at uh, the vertex color. So now I can see that that's set up. So now what? Well, now let's say if I said, okay, I want all Chrome elements to be blue. So what I can do is I can, in this side, um, go to object mode, hit tab, and now I select this thing. And now here you can see that in vertex color, I can see that I have kind of some different things to choose from. Maybe I'll just start with the four gray. I'll just leave it at that. And I don't really like to choose grays. So maybe um, I click on this and I add more in my count here. And you can see that I can add as many kind of slots as I want. And I could even change this uh, to be whatever colors I want. So let's say down here, I can click on this and now I can say, I want this to be blue. Okay, now with this selected, I can click on this thing to assign it to that. Okay, now I could select this one and I can assign it as well. Um, and I could keep assigning different things. So I'm, I could select all of these and then again, assign it. And you can see that I can select more than one thing at a time. Okay, again, everything that's Chrome. Um, okay, cool. And let's say if for whatever reason, um, I don't know, I, I had a lot of colors on here and I didn't know which one was which, or, or I wanted to figure out what I was doing. I can come here and I wanna make sure that my shading is set to flat, okay? I could even turn off the wireframe if I wanted to. So I could come here, turn off wireframe. And now you can see that I can see it here. And if I needed to, I could, let's say if I, I, I wasn't sure if I had a lot of different blues and I wasn't sure which one, I could come here and I could go to the material picker and I could grab this and now I can see it's gonna be, it will be the exact blue, okay? So if I kind of got lost, I could do that. Uh, but normally I wanna keep my blue ones here. I don't wanna have kind of multiple blues if I can avoid it, um, but just kind of a cool thing. So now let's say I got all the chrome. Now I could select all of the, I'm gonna call it the metal. I could select that and maybe I'll give this a different color, maybe red. Then I'll select all the leather and maybe make that, who knows, a different color green, okay? Again, 
doesn't matter what color I choose as long as the properties are going to be correct, you know, the same. Um, the materials will be the same. There we go, pink for the tires. Um, now, for this one here, I'm going to have it obviously this blue, okay? But this is kind of a unique case. So I'm going to press slash on the number pad. And you can see that I have um, two different materials that I want on this. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to turn on wireframe again. And I'm going to press one on the number, um, I'm sorry, three on the number pad. And I'm going to turn on x ray so I can see uh, through it. Okay. And then I'll come over here and switch this to select lasso. And I'm going to select this because this is actually going to be rubber. Okay. I want to be in face mode. So I have to be in edit mode first. I'm going to select this. Okay, cool. And again, switch this to select lasso. And if I zoom up here, I'm going to deselect this. So I'm going to control click and drag that. And if I look at it a little bit from an angle here, there we go. And same with down here, I'm going to kind of look at this. Whoa. So let me see. If I do um, Alt or Control 3 on the number pad, I'm, I'm on the other side here. There we go. And now Control. There we go. Excellent. So now I have just what I want selected. Now, if I come over here, I'm going to just choose a, uh, a new color. Again, doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to say, you know, these are kind of a different rubber than the tires. So I'm going to go like that. And I'm not going to be able to tell if it worked until I go here. And I should be able to assign, actually, let me do this one here. Okay. So I should, again, be able to select that. Okay, there they are. And assign. So now if I switch back out, huh, okay, so again, attribute editor, let's take a look. If I go back here, slash. Let me try that one more time here. So if I just go into edit mode, select these. Again, I'm, I'm going to be more careful in the selection, but then if I sign, yeah, there we go. So I'm not sure why it wasn't. Let me just go ahead and kind of be more careful in my selection here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select all of this. There we go. There we go. Uh, now I'm going to, again, do the other side. And there we go. Now we're cooking. Okay, so now if I hit tab, uh, again, slash the number pad, I can see that... Um, you know, kind of slowly but surely I'm kind of getting my way around this model and just like for this light maybe I want this part to be chrome but maybe this part to be something else so I can kind of again select individual faces and apply um, and you can see that I could have as many color slots as I want here I just have to keep going like this to add more colors and then I can keep going here to add you know kind of different colors and then if I bring this back let's say if it's getting out of hand I don't lose the colors, I just lose the kind of visually, I can't see them, but then I can kind of come here and I can see them again, okay? But I have to push this button underneath them to assign it, and then I can kind of go from there. So again, hopefully that was helpful um, looking at color IDs with using the text tool plugin in Blender. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below, and make sure to like and subscribe for new videos every week. All right, guys, talk to you later.